I can't let her go it alone after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Filled her up for you. Thanks. Ready to roll? Let's get this show on the road. Let's hit it. Sure. Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladdy, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive. And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all, right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car. Sure you don't need a break. I'm okay. You are sandwiched in back there. Have Prompto suffer instead. Really, it's fine. No suffering here. If you say so. Got some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull over. Uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this. Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talcott, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right. <sighs> Careful, knocked. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. Mm -hmm. 